plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Hold tight and welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. My name's James and today we're going to have a quick look at a type of valve that you can have under your sink called a sure stop valve. That's the product. That's what it is. Let's have a quick gander. Oh my god! Now this product here is what I'm on about. There's a couple of different types. You've got the remote button one here, or you've got just one here that is just pretty much the button on the pipe. So the first thing I want to cover is why you would fit one of these. The perfect thing I can say is that if it's an elderly person, or if it's in say student accommodation, or even if you just want an easier way of turning off your stopcock, these are a great addition to any house's plumbing system basically. The idea is, is that you put this bit on the pipe down under your sink or wherever it is out of the way. So if it's under a kickboard in the kitchen and if you've got an emergency you have to whip the kickboard off that sort of thing what you want to do is you want to pop this where that valve is and then you can have this button here this far apart now i'm sure you can understand why that is such a handy thing to have let me show you oh and hold on before we continue i would have done this video under the sink in the house with a kitchen but unfortunately my wife wouldn't let me take all the stuff out from under the sink she just got all funny about it. We started getting in an argument. I was like, no, I'll go down the shed. Anyway. So look, say there's a leak, okay, in the house, or you're going away even, and you want to turn the water off while you're away. I don't know. For some reason, you want to turn the water off, especially in the case of an emergency. So there's our incoming main water pipe over there. Now, say we've got some sort of gushing problem and we need to shut it off. Uh, most normal homeowners aren't going to know where the valve is out in the road, are they, to switch it off? Only us plumbers know that. And also, if there's a valve down here, and particularly if they're elderly or if the valve hasn't worked in a long time, you know, that's going to be really, really hard for them to twist. Also, you've got to get under there and turn the thing off. Often there's boxes in the way. You know, it's a nightmare to get to. So this product alleviates all those problems in one go basically and it's so easy to install firstly what you need to do is go to the main stop cock you'll usually find them out in the road or if you're in a block of flats they'll be in a big cupboard together sometimes or you'll actually find it in the riser of your particular flat turn that off that's the first thing you want to do next all you need to do is cut into the pipe which is usually 15 mil copper using a pipe slice and basically fit the unit in a position on the cold water main pipe so you can put your switch where you'd like it to be. So let's have a look at how I'm going to do that now. Let's move this sump pump out of the way. Let's move these pipe dies out of the way. So the first thing I'm going to do, right, is take a note of which direction the water flow is. In this system here, the water's coming up like that, okay? So what we need to do is if we look at the bottom of our valve here, it denotes exactly which way the flow is going. So I know now that my flow's going that way, the water's going in that way, so I know now which way I can put my valve in. So basically, pipe slice, what you wanna do is cut out a bit of pipe, roughly the length of the diameter of that circle on the back there. So I'm just gonna pop this off here. Duh. And it's even better if you've got a little bit of flex in the pipe like we have here. Because <laughs> this is... I think I might need a new pipe slice wheel. Right, so our flow pops in there like that. It's just like a normal push fit fitting. Bang, that's in. Get that clipped up. <sighs> right, the good thing about this is as well, I mean, if this switch is in the way, Firstly, now you've actually got a switch that you can switch the water supply on and off with. But if the switch is in the way, boom, you just swing it out of the way like that. It's real easy. Also, they've got a nice clear stick on the side as well to reiterate where the flow is. The next thing you do, right, is you've got this lovely long lead where you can put your remote button on. The good thing is sure stop supply clips as well with this. So you can clip this nicely round the inside of a cabinet or a cupboard so you can run your remote switch with its new wire nice and neatly. So the next thing we do is find out where we want to put our remote switch. And I want to put my over here so I'm not going to cut this back okay for this video we're just gonna what we do is imagine that we brought that up round there and basically I want to put my now switch right here this means that if you do have someone who's elderly or they don't know where their water stopcock is or you know if it's for rental or even if you personally just want an easier way of turning your water off you'll now instead of having to go under there and try and work that horrible seized old tap all you're gonna have to do is just go bang press that button and the water is gone <laughs> So what you do, you get your box. The great thing is about their boxes as well. They've got a sticky back to them, so you can take that off and just stick that straight on something. Obviously afterwards, I wang a couple of screws in as well to make sure that's held. So you put your box on the wall like that. Make sure that these two little blue pipes go in about four or five mil. They've got a couple of little clips just there. 
So you can clip that up like that. Make sure as well that the blue pipes don't kink at all, okay? Then what you do, you just pop this up here like that. Bang, it's already on there. I mean, it's a good product. They've thought, they've thought carefully about the extras they can put on this. And there you go, basically job done, okay? So what you've done there effectively for your customer is made it so much easier for them to turn the water off in the case of a leak. Now, I've fitted loads of these, okay? I've never, ever had a problem with them, never had to go back to them. Also, they're completely like immune to the effects of lime scale. You don't get any problems there. Uh, another good thing about the versatility is that you can get extension lengths for the, for the cord as well. So if you need to make it so it's further and further away, you can do that. Uh, they even supply a special little tool that if you want to take out these pipes, you can do. Just follow the instructions really carefully and you'll see how easy it is to install one of these pieces of kit. And also, even if you're worried about electrical bonding, Surestop also supply a bonding kit so you can bond over from the two copper pipes because obviously most of the Surestop's parts are plastic and therefore non-conductive. So if you need any more help or any more information, please visit our website at plumberparts.co.uk. Obviously you can go and chat to the people at Surestop. It's very, very important that you subscribe to our videos. We upload every week. We love uploading. We love talking about plumbing. We love just generally yapping and, uh, and that sort of thing. So please do subscribe as well. You can also follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. And like I said, we do lots of stuff there. We post photos and pictures of all the plumbing disasters you guys get. And also some of the funny things that we come across on a daily basis. I hope this video has given you a better idea of how sure stop valves work, how easy they are to install, how versatile they are and also how helpful they are to homeowners across the UK. Please come back next week and I'll see you in our next video. Remember everyone, hold tight! Plumberparts.co.uk Honest reviews and advice.